Selling over 11 million units in its first 10 months on the market, it's no wonder that the God of War series is one of the best-selling franchises in all of gaming, a franchise that still has a lot of legs in it. Rumors are running rampant from the well-known leakers and insiders alike that there will be another God of War game debuting in 2024, and we may not have to wait long at all to find out even more about this upcoming God of War game. Stick around for a deep dive into all the rumors and leaks that point us toward a game we are likely to see surface in the next few months, going over the latest details we are expected to see in the next installment in this Herculean franchise. We have a report from Insider Gaming that the Spanish outlet Aria Jugones claims that it's heard from sources close to Sony that the follow-up to God of War Ragnarok will be revealed later this year, specifically at the Game Awards. With no plans for Sony to host a state of play or a PlayStation showcase anytime the rest of this year, it is entirely possible that Sony could make a grand announcement at the Game Awards, as that event has been host to many large game announcements. The Game Awards will take place on December 7th this year, and it is possible that we will hear more about this upcoming God of War project at that date. Remember to take everything with a grain of salt regarding these leaks and rumors, because nothing has been officially revealed as of yet. This news runs concurrently with a reported leak that occurred late this past August, in which Twitter user The Snitch reported that the development of the Ragnarok follow-up was about 60% complete, with a planned release for next year in 2024. Now, we don't have any access to the user's Twitter page anymore, as this notorious leaker seems to leak stuff with high accuracy and then go rogue. The leaker infamously leaked with 100% accuracy the entire PlayStation third-party showcase of June 2nd, 2022, several hours before it went live, so this leaker certainly has some credibility. If true that this God of War Ragnarok follow-up were about 60% completed as of this past summer, that would mean that the game could likely be ready to release sometime in 2024, in line with what this statement from Aria Hugones reports. Now, the real question you're likely wondering is, what kind of God of War game is this going to be? It's widely known that God of War Ragnarok director Eric Williams claimed numerous times that DLC for God of War Ragnarok would likely not happen, stating that God of War Ragnarok was a conclusion to the Norse saga for the series. In the spoiler cast IGN had with Eric Williams discussing many aspects of the game, including its development and story, when asked about the idea of doing DLC for the game, Williams stated, I don't know man, God of War Ragnarok is big. I think we put everything we had into it, so I wouldn't count on it. What Williams never really clarified, however, was the idea of a standalone God of War game that didn't serve as DLC content for God of War Ragnarok. This is where The Snitch and Aria Hugones seem to report, stating that this next God of War game slated for a 2024 release is likely to be a standalone game, not dissimilar to something like Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, a shorter Spider-Man game featuring a different playable character other than Peter Parker, the main protagonist of Insomniac's Spider-Man 2018. Featuring a game that could be fully completed in around 12 to 15 hours, Spider-Man Miles Morales was a satisfying game that didn't require players to own Marvel's Spider-Man before it. This follow-up to the 2018 Spider-Man game released two full years after the previous game, and with Santa Monica Studios having released God of War Ragnarok one year ago, a smaller God of War game launching around two years later is absolutely a possibility. While there haven't been any concrete details made about the DLC and what it will be about, Fans are expecting this smaller standalone game to star Atreus as he goes on a journey of his own to track down the remaining giants, highlighted during the final moments of God of War Ragnarok's campaign. God of War isn't God of War without Kratos, as many claim, and I happen to agree with that, but a spin-off game starring one of the game's most important supporting characters is absolutely something that I see happening, seeing as the ending of God of War Ragnarok clearly left Atreus' story open for more content. This spin-off title could serve as an appropriate bridge to set up the next mainline entry in the series, just as Spider-Man Miles Morales did for the Spider-Man series. It's worth mentioning that Sony is no stranger to making shorter games in their popular franchises. We had Infamous First Light, a standalone game to Infamous Second Son, before getting Uncharted The Lost Legacy as a standalone follow-up to Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. The most recent example is the aforementioned Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, yet Sony has done many more before in the numerous smaller Ratchet & Clank games on the PS3 and beyond. 
This follow-up to God of War Ragnarok will likely cement itself as the last God of War game in the Norse saga before moving on to wherever Santa Monica Studios plans to take the series in the next big installment, likely featuring Kratos. Seeing as that last scene in God of War Ragnarok depicted Atreus leaving his father's side to go out and find the remaining giants, this shorter, standalone game still has many additional characters it can explore, namely Thor's daughter, Thrud, Angerboda, and perhaps some sort of reconciliation with Sindri. The Norse saga for God of War introduced a number of incredible characters that could likely be followed up with before leaving the Norse setting, in what would likely mark the next main God of War game, so this standalone title could address that. With Tyr now free from the shackles of his imprisonment in Niflheim, and having learned that the Norse God of War had traveled to numerous other realms, including ancient Egypt, ancient Japan, Celtic, and Mayan mythologies, this upcoming God of War standalone title could heavily hint at and set up where the future of the series could likely take us. Make sure to watch the playlist I made going over the future mythologies God of War will go next, linked in the description. Santa Monica Studio initially envisioned God of War 4 taking place in ancient Egypt, before deciding on Norse mythology for its next saga after its initial outing in ancient Greece, so perhaps a return to Egypt is in line for the next main God of War title. And before you let me know in the comments that Kratos has already been to ancient Egypt, I am aware and have covered that in his brief travels through Egypt in numerous videos, also in the playlist, but there are still a ton of things Santa Monica could do with Egyptian mythology, as it has pretty much remained untouched in the series. God of War Ragnarok released on both the PS4 and the PS5, so the spin-off God of War game could likely be built from the ground up for just the PS5, proving to be a smaller yet solid PS5 exclusive title from Santa Monica Studios, before years later releasing a much larger game for the platform. Showcasing an Atreus without his father Kratos with him and on his own with occasional appearances from Thrud, Angerboda, and the like, this will be an important story to tell in the God of War universe, highlighting the continued growth Atreus has been experiencing, presenting likely the most significant part in his life up till this moment. Having grown up with his father Kratos his entire life, this marks his first time being away from his father, a rite of passage of sorts, where he is all on his own, fending off against all manner of foes and dangers while on his personal journey. He may no longer have his father beside him, but he does have his lasting relationships with Thrud and Angerboda, and it will be in this smaller standalone game that Atreus can really shine before the reins get handed back to Kratos. And that's just my thoughts on all this anyway, so do me a solid and let me know what you think this standalone God of War game is going to be in the comments. Do you think we will continue to see more God of War games surrounding Kratos, or do you think the ending in God of War Ragnarok wrote off the character from being the protagonist going forward? What would you like to see in an Atreus God of War title? Make sure to watch this video going over what a God of War game in Ancient Egypt would look like, and be sure to stay tuned to the channel for all updates regarding God of War. Thank you all for your continued support, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.